Tribe Yoga community. My name is Amy and I am an Army veteran yoga teacher and one of the co-founders of Tribe. We teach resilience, increase balance, and endurance. And today I'm going to lead you um, on part of my self-care series where we um, usually focus our attention on a single body group as a form of meditation. We're going to bring a little bit of attention to your low back region. So for this practice, it's going to be pretty gentle. We'll be moving, um, but primarily focusing on the spine with some gentle movements and breath. And I do have quite a few props, so I will give you a second to get them. Um, I suggest a blanket or it can be a, like a bath towel, a chair or a bench and a pillow. So it can just be like the pillow from your bed. I'm going to use a cushion here um, and I'm on a yoga mat, but that's really um, not necessary as long as you know, you're on a um, surface will be on the floor for most of it, but so a surface that you're comfortable on. So while you get those things, a chair, a blanket or a towel um, and some kind of cushion or pillow. I think that's everything. I will reintroduce myself. Again, my name is Amy and Tribe Yoga is a um, nonprofit. So we work from donations and grants that works to bring the tools of yoga to the active duty military community. And we are composed of veterans, military um, spouses, active duty military, and other members who want to support these um, individuals. So a great way to help nonprofits is to share our videos, share our offerings, um, tell people about it, or to donate. And you can donate right from our Facebook page. Um, should be a blue donate button somewhere there. So let's go ahead and get started. And I have my blanket and um, pillow close by, but I'm actually going to start in front of my chair and the back of the chair is away from me. So this opening part is towards me. And so just find a comfortable seat for me that's cross-legged, whatever comfortable is for you here. We're just coming in with our breath. So root down, however you're sitting, reach the crown of your head up to the ceiling. And let's just take a full inhale here to arrive. And as you breathe, breathe the air down all the way into your belly and expand since we're bringing attention to the low back today, go ahead in your mind's eye and picture your low back. And as you inhale and expand through your belly, can you also imagine breathing so much air that it even puffs out the low back? Pull in all directions of the middle and then exhale, notice that contraction, almost like a corset, strengthening and supporting the low back. Again, inhale, bring the air in through the nostrils. Notice it move down your throat into your belly. Inhale through your belly so much that even your low back gets puffy with the air. And then on the exhale, draw the navel to the spine. Continue to root down through your seat and like a corset, allow the a waist to draw in and navel a little bit up to provide this support for the low back. Last inhale here, expand through the belly. I should say last inhale before we move. And exhale, navel draws in and up, bring your mind eye, your awareness to the low back. From here, let's come on to our hands and knees right in front of the chair. And so if you need something under your knees, this would be a great place to place the blanket. And then slowly just walk one arm and then the other onto the chair. And if you are comfortable, see if you can bring your elbows onto the chair and allow, and they're a little bit more than shoulder width for me, but not much more. So about the width of the seat of the chair. And then from here, just slowly, you know, maybe you just are waking up just getting some movement, allow the sternum or the breastbone to reach towards the floor. So you reach the tailbone back behind you. So lengthen through the low back 
and then reach the sternum between the hands. So the gaze or the arms um, and the gaze is to the floor. Root down through the elbows, draw the elbows into the seat of the chair as you continue to reach the sternum towards the floor. So moving some upper back mobility here with the idea that sometimes when we're stuck in other part of our back, we often try to get some mobility from the lumbar, the lower spine, which really lumbar spine doesn't have much uh, rotation. It's mainly um, a stable area of the back that's supposed to take some compression. So when we start trying to rotate there because we're tight elsewhere, it can lead to some pain. And so now if you're comfortable, continue to draw the elbows into the chair, up the tops of the arms into the chair, and maybe round through the top of the back, almost like a cat, cat if you are familiar with that pose. And then exhale, reach the chin up like a cow pose. Inhale to round. Exhale, open into a cow. And if this variation with the arms bent is too intense for you, then you can certainly just bring your hands to the chair and do the movements here with the hands grounding into the chair and lifting up and forward with the sternum. But play with the mobility if it works for you. So rounding through the upper back and then reaching the sternum tall. Finding cat-cow variation here. Continuing to draw the upper arms into the chair as you broaden through the collarbones. So let's find stillness here. And just notice if you've found any more opening than you had when you first came to this position. And it's okay if you don't. We're just focusing our awareness. And then I invite you to bring your awareness again to the low back. Maybe the sensations in your upper back are pretty intense at this point. We'll just shift away from there as you invite a little bit more softening. And now let's release one hand to the chair and then the other. Slowly walk ourselves back up and then we'll bring one hand to the floor and then the other. And so from here, you can scoot a little bit down your mat. I'm just going to bring the chair just a little bit out of the way. We will eventually use it um, again. So from here, if you have a pillow or a blanket, let's have it close by. And just slowly lower onto the belly and open your arms wide like a figure T. And you can bring your chin to the floor and just take a full inhale here. This time noticing the belly expand against the floor and again, imagining the low back getting puffy with this air. And exhale. Inhale here. And this time on the exhale, let's rotate so that we're coming to a side lying position. So just laying on your side, if it's comfortable for you, you can bring a blanket under your um, And then whichever you're not using, let's, so for me, I'm gonna place the pillow between my legs. And I'm just going to make sure that my pelvis and low back is staying stable. We'll move through some rotations and we want these to be in the middle and upper back. So by holding the something between your legs, we will take it away from the low back. And so just lay with your arms extended out in front of you. And then on the next inhale, reach the top arm up and over like you're opening a book or a door. And then just as far back as is comfortable for you. So now your sternum is up towards the uh, ceiling. And again, notice, check in with the legs and see if they wanted to hike back and keep them stacked. So it might um, take, imagining pinning that top hip point in place and then close the book. So we'll just move here with the breath. And so it can be pretty, find the rhythm that works for you, but not a fast movement. Maybe really slow inhale to open, slow exhale to close. 
bringing the attention to the low back or maybe the mid back. And if the arms extend isn't working for you, you can have the arms at a 90 degree angle so that you're opening up for goal posts. And it's okay if the arm doesn't touch the other side. We're just working on a little bit of mobility here. Draw the shoulders away from the ears. And the neck and the gaze can move. Inhale to open. You can stay in your mind. Exhale to close. Inhale to open. Exhale to close. And the next time you open, let's stay open. And again, check in with that top hip. See if you can draw it away from the ears, away from the top of the head. And allow that open arm to soften just a bit. And the gaze can be to the ceiling or maybe to the open arm. So a full twist of the spine, allowing that lumbar spine to be supported. Inhale, imagine the low back getting puffy with your breath. Exhale, navel draws to spine, maybe allowing you to deepen in the twist. Inhale, exhale, to close. And just in any way that feels supportive to you, we'll flip to the other side. So my flip will be a little bit more dramatic because I'm going to keep facing you. Then you can just do a gentle twist to the opposite side. And if you liked having that pillow support under your head, you can have the pillow support. But either way, you know, readjust uh, what's between your legs. So we're sidelined. So the hips are stacked and the knees are stacked here. And imagine drawing this top hip away from the crown of the head. Reach the arms in front of the chest. And then inhale, open. Exhale, close. Now notice if the side is any different for you. No problems if it is, neither good or bad. Just to notice sensations and being familiar with your own limits in your body. Maybe knowing if you have uh, a little bit more limitations in one way or another, noticing how we might compensate that later. You notice ultimately that maybe you feel a little crunched on that side by the end of the day, or you notice, oh, I have my wallet on that side of my back pocket. Well, not to create a story, but just being familiar with your body. Inhale, open. Exhale, close. Again, maybe gaze follows your hand. Can be an excellent way to practice some concentration. And the next time you find open, let's stay open. Again, draw the top hip away from the crown of the head as you reach that twisted arm towards the floor. So focus the twist in the upper and middle back. So increasing mobility in these regions so that we don't try to do unnecessary uh, twisting in the lumbar spine, which is really not made for twisting. It's composed of some really big, thick vertebrates um, that are really only made to rotate about 5%, or, or excuse me, 5 degrees. So inhale here, and exhale. Inhale, and exhale to close the arms. Take a full inhale here. And from here, we'll just come to lay on the belly. So you don't need any props for this time. Again, my spin is gonna be a little bit more dramatic than yours, just so that I stay in the camera. But you can just move the props out of the way. Come to lay on the belly as we had earlier. Arms outstretched so that you're like the letter T. And so from here, we will um, do a little bit more pelvic rotation, but not low back, so focusing on the pelvis. And so inhale, let's lift the left leg and cross it over and imagine that you can touch your right hand 
with your left leg. So some people call this scorpion pose and I can demonstrate it on the opposite way so you can see my foot reaching. And the foot doesn't have to be anywhere close to that extended arm, no worries. Um, you can rest the head and gaze to the side. So now I'll demonstrate this way again. Just reach that foot and imagine that you can touch the opposite arm. And so once you have it, whether the foot can touch the ground somewhere or not, or just a little toe, imagine that knee that's lifted, sinking just a little bit closer to the floor. This position can feel a little awkward, but you can you imagine softening that knee to the floor? Maybe bringing the awareness as you do that to the front of the hip flexor of that extended leg. Inhale, exhale, return that leg back straight. So I'm gonna shift my gaze to the opposite way just so that I'm keeping my neck in line, but now you'll see my leg here. So this time I'm gonna inhale, lift the right leg, and then on the exhale, imagine reaching those toes towards my extended arm. So gaze is in the opposite direction of your foot. And as you arrive there, can you imagine softening through that knee? Imagine softening the knee closer to the floor. Breathe into the hip flexor. The foot might be lifted. It doesn't have to be on the floor. So this can be a pretty active move. Continue to draw the chest towards the floor. And then exhale, return that leg to center. Inhale, float the left leg. And again, reach the left foot for the opposite arm. Imagining that we could touch with that opposite hand. Notice if this move is a little bit more familiar or approachable to you the second time. It's okay if it's not. And then exhale back down a little bit faster here. Inhale, float that left leg. Exhale to reach the left leg towards the right arm. Imagine softening the knee down. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale to extend the leg back down. From here, let's bring the hands under the shoulders. Draw the shoulder heads back as you untuck the toes. So the tops of the feet are grounded into the mat. Pelvis is fully grounded into the mat. Hands are under the shoulders. Draw the shoulder heads back. And as you draw the navel to the spine, peel the chest and the sternum off of the mat. And then energetically draw the hands towards the feet. Exhale back down. Inhale to lift and lengthen. So as you ground the tops of the feet into the mat, can you imagine reaching the sternum towards the front of the mat? Exhale back down. Inhale, lift and lengthen. And this time let's walk the forearms out in front of us so that the forearms make the number 11 in front of us. So they're parallel. Draw the navel into the spine, so you might even know it, notice the low belly gently peeling off of the earth in sphinx pose through here. Broaden through the collarbones as you gather the shoulder blades uh, into the chest. So draw the shoulder blades, these flat, narrow bones in the back into the chest to draw the sternum forward. Ground down strongly through the pelvis. Keep drawing through the tops of the feet. Inhale here. And exhale, inhale, and exhale, release back to the floor, make a pillow for the head. Inhale, fill your belly, even getting puffy again into the low back, visualizing the low back expanding. And exhale, navel draws to spine. From here, let's rotate, just come to flip onto the back. 
and extend the legs long. And hi, Natalie, I see you commented again. And from here, you can keep the left leg long and then draw the right knee into the chest. And as you hug the right knee in, can you continue to reach out through the left leg? So opening up again, inviting this left hip flexor to open up as you draw the right knee in. And maybe you even draw the right knee over towards the armpit. Inhale. And exhale. Inhale. And exhale. Extend the right leg long. And then inhale, float the left knee in. Give it a bit of a hug as you continue to actively draw the right foot away, inviting this right hip flexor to open. And as you hug the left knee in, maybe you bring it over towards the armpit. Inhale. And exhale. Inhale. And exhale. Inhale to extend the legs. Let's take a full inhale here. Notice the low belly expands. Breathe into the low back. So even the low back is puffy with the air. Exhale, draw the navel to the spine. So from here in this gentle practice, we're going to go ahead and set ourselves up for a little bit of a restorative posture. So you will come to sit up for a second to set up here. And if you were looking for a more active practice today, I do have some videos of active practices that you could um, jump in on, but then I invite you to come back to this part because this is a great way to set up some low back relief. So if you have a blanket or a towel, let's just fold it in halves or in fourths. So we don't want it too high, but we'll um, set it here and eventually put it, put it about at the legs of the chair. And if you have a pillow, well, let's go ahead and bring the pillow onto the chair. So from here, go ahead and you can say you can sneak a cheek right up against the legs of the chair. Slowly lower yourself to the floor and then bring one leg onto the chair, or the pillow specifically, and then the other. So this pillow is coming right up under your knees. And it's hopefully lengthening um, or making the chair a little bit higher so that the thighs are extended. And you have this nice right angle uh, right at the legs. So that perfect corner between the thighs and the knees. And this blanket is supporting the low back. And from this position, root the calves into the pillow. Notice the support. Root the sacrum and the low back into the blanket. And notice the support. It's okay if you feel your legs releasing. I just felt mine release and they wanted to open a little bit away from each other versus drawing in. That's perfectly fine. Notice maybe where you experience those releases as you stay here. And bringing the attention to the calves supported by the pillow. Bring your awareness to the low back and sacrum supported by the blanket. And as you take that inhale that we've been taking, notice the low belly get puffy. And maybe notice the low back drawing against the blanket as it's lifted a little bit, you might be able to bring your awareness to that a bit more. Spin the palms up towards the ceiling. Maybe as you do that, you can either gather the shoulder blades onto the back a bit more to lift the sacrum up to the ceiling. And settle here. Inhale. And exhale. And 
I am going to um, get up to finish cueing you, but I invite you to stay here for at least five to ten minutes. Um, and as you are ready to get down, you'll just slowly lower one leg from the seat and then the other, and you'll return to this sideline position that we uh, were in earlier in the class. So again, only when you are ready to do that in about five or 10 minutes, that is how you will release. And then from there, you can use your hands to guide you to a comfortable seat. But I would encourage you to stay in this position for at least five or 10 minutes, bringing your awareness to the low back, bringing your awareness maybe to your legs, where are you able to soften as you stay here? Maybe at the face, maybe the shoulders draw a little away from the ears. Maybe the back of the head softens into the mat. Maybe even the soles of the feet soften. Continue to breathe here. Staying here in this self-care series, focusing on the low back. Feel free to come back to this practice on days where you need to do a slow reconnection with your body, with your breath, and with this wonderful calming position at the end, the legs elevated just a bit. Thank you for practicing with me today. Again, feel free to share our practices with others that would appreciate them. And thank you for sharing your light with us and with our growing community. My name is Amy. In yoga, we say namaste to say thank you to the teacher within you, teachers in front of you, and all the teachers around you. Namaste.